In this problem, we're told what is the angular momentum of a 2.8 kilogram uniform cylindrical grinding wheel of radius 18 centimeters when rotating at 1300 RPM? B, how much torque is required to stop it in six seconds? So in order to solve this problem, there's a formula you need to know. So let's actually just start with A. So for A, we're trying to find the angular momentum. And the formula for angular momentum is L, which is the angular momentum, is equal to the rotational inertia multiplied by omega or the angular velocity, right? So this is the formula we are gonna to use to solve. But before we solve, let's write down our given so we can actually plug in the variables. So what are we given? So we know it's gonna have a mass of 2.8 kilograms, right? Because it says 2.8 kilogram uniform cylindrical grinding wheel. So the mass of our wheel is 2.8 kg. It's gonna have a radius of 18 centimeters, right? So they tell us that it has a radius of 18 centimeters. And I'm gonna convert this into meters. So this is just 0.18 meters because there's 100 centimeters for every one meter. So just divide by 100 and you get 0.18. And then it's gonna uh, be rotating at 1300 RPM. So we know the angular velocity is gonna be equal to 1300 RPM. So when we solve this, we need to make sure uh, this is in meters, this is in kilograms, but this, our um, angular velocity has to be in radians per second. So let's go ahead and convert that. So 1300 revolutions per minute, right? We're just writing it down. So we need it in radians per second. So we know that there's one minute for every 60 seconds. So that'll cancel out the minutes, right? Just divided by 60. And then we know there's two pi radians for every one revolution. So that'll cancel out the revolutions. And then we'll just have radians over seconds. So what you're gonna wanna do, you're just gonna wanna do 1300 divided by 60 and then multiply by two pi. And if you go ahead and do this, you're gonna get 136.136, right? And it's gonna be in radians per second. So 136.136 radians per second. That's going to be uh, the new angular velocity, right? We just changed the units. So let's rewrite it, 136.136 radians per second. So now we've got it in the correct units. Now we can actually just plug it in. But first we need to determine which inertia or rotational inertia formula we're using. So in this case, we have a cylindrical grinding wheel, so just a solid wheel rotating. And the formula you would use for something like this is 1 half mr squared. And so in your textbook, they should have a list of all the tables or list of all the equations, depending on the type of scenario. And you'll see that this is the one we use for uh, this type of object, right? So just a wheel, solid wheel, cylindrical wheel rotating. So this is the formula we're going to use. So we can just plug it in for the rotational inertia or I. So one half m r squared multiplied by the angular velocity. So yeah, now we can just plug everything in since we have it laid out. So one half times the mass, which is 2.8 multiplied by r squared, which is 0.18 squared, multiplied by the angular velocity. So 136.136. So go ahead and do this, do 0.5 multiplied by 2.8 times 0.18 squared times 136.136. And if you go ahead and do that, you'll get 6.175. And then the units for this is gonna be kilogram meters squared over seconds. So this is gonna be the units you use, and you can see why. This is in kilograms, this is in meters, so it's gonna become meters squared. And then this is radians per second. And radians is essentially unitless, so it's just kilogram meters squared over seconds. But yeah, hopefully you see that. So 6.175 kilogram meters squared over seconds. You can round if you want, so 6.2. Whatever your teacher wants you to do, just make sure you follow that. But uh, yes, this is essentially gonna be your answer to A. So yeah, that's your answer to A. Let's move on to B now. So what is B gonna be? So we're trying to find the torque required to stop it in six seconds. So there's an equation you need to know for torque, which is torque is equal to the change in the angular momentum over the change in time, right? So they tell us uh, required to stop in six seconds. So the change in the time during this is gonna be six seconds, right? Because we go from zero to six seconds. So the change in T is just gonna be six seconds. And then the change in the linear or angular momentum is going to be L final minus L initial. So we write it like that. Uh, and then this is just going to be six seconds on the bottom. So what is L final and L initial? So L final is going to be zero, right? Because it's going to stop. So if it's at rest, it's not going to have any minus the initial, which we calculated here, right? So minus 6.175 and then divide by six. 
So yeah, just go ahead and do this 6.175 divided by six, but keep in mind it is negative. So you're gonna get minus 1.029166 and so on. I'm just gonna round to the whole number, so minus one. And then the units for this is gonna be uh, meter newtons. So meter newtons. And so, uh, yeah, so, right, because we measure torque in meter newtons. So minus one meter newtons or newton meters, however you want to write it. But yeah, essentially this right here will be your answer to B. So the torque required to stop in six seconds. And then this right here was your answer to A. So yeah, hopefully you found this uh, video useful. And yeah, thanks for watching.